it's days like this i'm really glad that we have the workshop and that we're not doing this van build by the side of our house or in the yard hi i'm aaron from charlie and me a camping vlog and welcome to the van build with thanks to our friends at gary's glue Hi guys, welcome back to the van build with thanks to our video sponsors, Gary's Glue. Gary'sGlue.ie are the video sponsors of all of the videos on this van build series. Today, um, it's late, it's actually 10 to 12. I'm normally wrapping up to get out of here, but I had to go to town to the electrical wholesalers, to the car accessory shop. I needed to pick up cable because today I want to wire the sockets to where there are going to be a single socket for the fridge, a twin socket with USBs on top of the counter, a twin socket with USBs where the table is going to pull out from under the bed. I need a twin socket at the foot of the bed up high for the TV and Wi-Fi unit. And I'm thinking of putting a twin socket at the headboard, but outside, so when you open the door, we have a twin socket there and they'll all be running off the inverter, which we got, it's a 1200 watt inverter. Uh, I also picked up some of these, well, one, just as a sample. There are two pin spots actually in the ambulance at the moment, and I want to put a third one over the pull-out table. And I saw these in the electrical wholesalers, and they're slightly bigger than the hole I have at the moment, but I've just been soldering on the connections. I'm going to heat shrink these now. Um, I've tested it. It works, but the hole is just too big, so I've got to cut out, figure out a way of making that hole bigger neatly, that this will just slide up into it. I might actually cut a brand new hole and use this as the brand new one. I don't know yet. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna test fit this now and see if it works. And then the plan is to wire the sockets, the 240 volt sockets, 220 volt sockets. So these are the pin spots that are here already. There's one there, there's one there, and I'd like to place a third one somewhere just here that it'll be over the table. So I've disconnected the one that was here and now I'm going to connect in the one that I bought today. And there it is there. Let's see if it works. Aye, aye, aye. And there we go. Now the only problem with this is, wow, it's very bright, that the hole is too big. Oh wow, that's very bright. The only problem is that the hole isn't big enough to take this and I'd probably make a dog's dinner cutting that bigger, but that's a start. I'm not going to leave it dangling there. I'm going to take it out and leave it in the press. Now, time and time again, I have said, and I'm sure I'm going to say it again in many a video, that nothing is straightforward on these van builds. I think it would be easier building from a van from scratch, but I chose the ambulance. I want to get a pin spot from this one here across to possibly here over the table or near the blue light. So I took out the, let me turn the camera and show you what I did here. So that's where our pin spot was. I took out the blue light that was there. You can see it's dangling there. And I said, right, shall we get a cable from here over to here and we'll fit the white light. Or SJ. And it, that thick, it's three inches thick, it's that square. So I even took out this plate here to have a look and it's the same down there. There's an RSJ there, and there's another one just there. So, there is a cable, I don't know if you can see it, but I got a torch to see if you can see it, going through there. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna drill a hole, and I have grommets, so I'm gonna drill a hole in here and see if I can get a cable to come out here so I can have another pin spot just over there. So like most things, it took a little bit longer. I had to get the cable from here. I had to take this down, drill a hole that way twice, take this down, fish the cable. There's another RSJ here. I had to go under it to here. That's where the white pin spot will go. I'm thinking of just replacing these, maybe measuring that hole and getting two pin spots to slip in to where they are now, rather than actually trying to make the hole bigger. I do recall seeing somebody 
put a piece of wood and drill a new cone saw hole to make them bigger. I'm not sure. I don't want to go at it with the angle. Oh, I just don't want to go at it. So I might just try and find two white pin spots to replace them. But I'm happy. Look, I was hoping to get the socket starting wiring, but I've got stuff to do at home today. So I've been here only for, what time did I get here? Just after 11. And it did take a while to get that done. So I'm going to call it a day because I've uh, computer stuff to do at home. And the next time I come back to you on this video, we will be wiring the 220 volt sockets. So a socket, I'll just do you, I think I showed you, but I'll just show you again. And if I did show you, I'd cut this piece, the next piece out. Now I have ordered the fridge and the cooker top and the sink and the toilet. So I need a single 220 volt socket and 12 volt power there for the fridge. That 220 volt socket is going to be counter height moved over to here. There will be a 220 volt socket here on the gable end of the bed where the table pulls out. So we have a 220 volt and USB socket there. I think I'm going to put a 220 volt socket possibly there or in that press because the TV might be going here and the Wi-Fi be going there. And then an afterthought was when you open that press from outside, I might put a 220 volt twin socket there just to have if you want to run something outside. So next time I talk to you, it will be a few days later or possibly tomorrow, but for you, it's in a couple of seconds. So day two of the electrics yesterday, I managed <laughs> after about an hour and a half just to get that cable in for the pin spot, which is going to be over the pullout table from under the bed. Now today, I want to get the 240 volt sockets. One on the countertop, one for the fridge underneath the countertop, one at the end of the bed, a twin socket with USB for the TV. Oh. And also I need to get one for when we pull out the table. I want a double socket there with USB and I'm thinking of putting one in so we can access it from the outside. I'll show you that all now in a couple of minutes. In fact, no, I've shown you already. So. I was out walking with Charlie and Deirdre this morning and we were talking about the 240 to 220 volt sockets and she was saying, so you'd be able to plug the heater in. I never thought of that. I was going to run all these off our 1200 watt inverter. So now I'm going to have to run in two sockets, two circuits. I'm going to run one circuit in purely from the inverter for charging slow stuff, low stuff like laptops, phones and stuff. And then another one for if we wanted to use a blow heater or even the toaster or something like that. That will be a 220 volt main socket for when we're plugged in on site. So two circuits to be run in now. I'm hoping I have enough cable. The inverter used to be where that clear square is there, which is right in the middle of the door. I'm gonna to have to move it somewhere. But what I am doing is I have found the mains cable, which is here coming in when we're plugged into mains. And all that's doing is powering this universal charger. So I'm going to now mount a circuit breaker here and I'm going to mains into this and come off that to the, to the charger and come off it to my 220 volt sockets that are going to be in the living quarters. Now this here actually is purely for the inverter. Again, this has to be mounted. I'll probably mount it inside. And all that does is wherever I put my inverter, there is a plug here and all that's on the end of that is a twin socket in the living quarters so that goes into your inverter so i've got to find somewhere here to put the inverter i don't know where because it is pretty big you have to try and keep the inverter close to, as close as possible to the batteries now i've also discovered that there are only eight amp hour batteries so i'm now going to have to buy either two or three leisure batteries i'm thinking of doing away with the single leisure battery over there because it only runs the hoist and then there's two batteries here. And then I think my two leisure batteries won't fit on this tray. So I may have to move all the wiring to the leisure batteries on the driver's side of the van, but that's all down the road. So for today, I'm going to mount this little fuse board. I'm going to rewire in the universal power charger and I'm going to run in a 220 socket to the counter and possibly a 220 socket for an outside point on mains and then if I have cable left I'll start running in the inverter to 20 volt sockets. So I've mounted this MCB board I've got a mains cable coming from the mains in to the MCB board 
and then from the MCB board, I'm going out to a 240 volt, 220 volt socket in the salon and back down to this charger. So I have two cables coming out there. Um, I just need to get an earth, an, um, an earth bar just to connect all the earths together. So at the moment, that's the mains coming in from the mains. When we plug in, it's going out to the salon where we're going to be living and also down to this charge unit. That's taken over an hour. So I have that cable coming into there up to here and I've marked this as 240 volt mains. So there will be a main socket here and now I'm going to tap off that and under the countertop, under the bed, I'm going to go to over there. So when you open that door outside, there will be a twin socket. If I get that done today, I'll be happy because it's Wednesday, it's podcast day and I don't want to stay out here too late. Okay, so I've put a twin socket inside just because I want to turn the power on. And as I say, I'm going to put a second 220 volt socket out here in this press. So I'll show you how I'm actually going to do that. Now this was just an afterthought that I want to put a twin socket here for when we're out and about, maybe if we have our awning out and we can plug in or if any of that, I'm going to put a USB. So if any of the guys want to charge something, Although all of the camping crew now have solar on the vans, but still, if they wanted to. So I've marked the square here. I'm going to get the jigsaw and I'm going to cut that hole out and I'm going to fit this socket and wire it. And that way then I can actually plug the ambulance back into the mains and I'll have two sockets running off the mains if I need them. the idea of having a USB socket and I like these little finishing touches. Now I've got to go check them. I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous video but if any of you are ambulance drivers and you know how the electrics work for example every now and again when I'm plugged in the socket on the side of the van down there pops out like if batteries are fully charged my job here is done or if I'm plugged into mains and I start the engine that pops out it ejects if any of you know why van build at charlieandme.ie is our email I'd love to know why I'm happy okay I've tested the sockets with the heat gun and everything is going okay so we've got a twin socket up there it's live I needed to power them up because I need to charge the batteries while I'm plugged in. And then I've got a twin socket here. Now this twin socket, by the way, um, I've cable tied it and it'll be, I know for the moment it's gonna be in the way. I might just throw a mat over it, but that's gonna be under the bed. Now it's only half 11. I don't have much cable left. Actually, I don't have much left, but I might get a socket. I think I'll actually disconnect the socket. Oh, that lighting. I think I'll disconnect the socket that's already there for the inverter, pull it back to the countertop. And the way then I'll know that that's the inverter one, I won't put a USB socket onto it. I'll leave it. I will mark it, obviously. Um, and I might get enough cable in. No, I don't think I have. I might have enough cable to get the socket in for the bed. Now I need a single socket down under the countertop for the fridge. I have to wait till I get the fridge to see what rating it is. I was hoping to run it off the inverter so that way it's on all the time. Now it will run off the inverter because it's a 1200 watt inverter. So I think 
I might just drop a cable from that twin socket and put the single socket in now. Again, just dangling there. I have a single socket and a socket box and I might just put them there, connect it. Um, the inverter I got is beautiful. It's big, as I say, it's 1200 watts, but it's physically big as well. And I need to try and get it in behind the passenger seat or as close as possible to the battery terminals because the shorter the cable run is from your batteries to your inverter, the better. And originally the inverter was, as I said earlier, underneath the window that we're gonna be cutting out and the cables are literally butting up about two inches out of the floor. So I'm gonna have a look at that later on and see, I will have to get new leisure batteries because the ones I see here are just eight amp hour batteries. So I'm gonna order two 110 amp hour batteries and I've also got to try and source solar and see what we're gonna do about that. It's a bit awkward, and I've said this before, and I know it was my choice to buy an ambulance, but it's a bit awkward trying to patch into the ambulance electrics. And I have to because of that ACE unit. Now maybe, no, I have to because the lights are run off the ACE unit and all the cables, I could possibly chase the cables into this corner where all the cables are and find out which are the lights, which are the pin spots, which are now the LEDs and run new, do a new fuse board. I am running a 12 volt fuse board into this area here where we have all the electrics. I am gonna put a 12 volt fuse board there because I want to put in, even though I have USB sockets on that twin and on the twin that'll be at the table and on the twin more than likely that'll be up for the TVs. I wanna put in one or two USB sockets just to have them as well. Possibly only two. There is six 12 volt power points here already that I could use, but I might just run a brand new fuse board. No, I am going to run a brand new 12 volt fuse board and tap off that what we need. And I may, it's still early days, but I may chase the cables for these lights back to there and put in switches. But I really do want to keep this switch unit here. I really, really want to keep this unit because it also runs some fans that are on the roof and I really want to keep them. Okay, so this is the piece of cable I'm going to need to go from the countertop inverter socket down to the single socket underneath for the fridge and I'm going to put them in now. Okay, so I have the single socket in for the fridge. I've marked the top of it, single socket inverter. That twin socket is also on the inverter. That twin socket is mains. And then over here, this is the twin socket in USB that will go on the foot of the bed at the pullout table. And then over there, you saw already, we have a twin socket on the mains. This twin socket, by the way, will be on the inverter. And that one is on the mains. Okay, let's call it a day. It's a quarter past 12 Wednesdays. I said I don't normally come out on the Wednesday because of the podcasts. Uh, tomorrow is obviously Thursday. There's a chap coming out to disconnect the air uh, to empty the air conditioning gas out of the air conditioning system so I can take down the big fan that's in over the bathroom, well, over the toilet. Uh, very posh calling it a bathroom. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and click on that bell and every time that we uh, load a video, you'll get a notification. We upload the videos every Friday. The Van Build is brought to you with thanks to our friends at Gary's Glue, garysglue.ie are sponsoring all of the van build videos and the tools that we use today from the heat gun and drills and stuff are supplied by Michael Murphy in Waterford and the details will come up on the credits at the end of the video. If you'd like to support the video, please do log on to Coffee. that's ko-fi.com forward slash the van build. You can buy us a coffee or two. You don't have to, but um, as a certain shopping centre says, every little helps. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching the videos. I'm Aaron from Charlie and Mayer Camping Vlog, the van build with thanks to Gary's Glue. Take care.